Hi, I'm Kelly with CitrusCycles.ca, and today I'm going to take you on a trail test of the Four Fat e-bike from the Vancouver company Surface 604. We're going to start out on some uh, pavement. Now, normally you wouldn't think of uh, the primary use for a fat bike as being on pavement but this is actually a really nice bike. It rides very well. Uh, a lot of fat bikes feel like you're driving a tractor, but uh, surprisingly, the bore is quite agile. And so anytime you need good handling and traction, such as when you're commuting, this is actually a good choice to consider. The fat tires give you a lot of stability and traction. So if you've got poor riding conditions or you need to stop quickly, Maybe you've got gravel, uh, you ride in the rain like I do, or sometimes it's icy or uh, there's frost on the road. Um, with that extra traction you get from these four inch wide tires, you really have a lot of confidence in your ability to ride safely. And so even though I thought uh, this would primarily be an off-road bike, it's actually fun to ride it on the road as well. Being a electric assist bike with a rear hub motor, that gives you a lot of extra power so that you're not worried about the rolling resistance that these fat tires give you. And, uh, I've actually been going up a bit of an incline here, and the great thing about an e bike is you don't actually notice until you turn around and go back down and realize you can coast the whole way. Next, we're heading on to a trail. It's an old logging trail or forestry road. Okay, so and like a lot of the trails around trail here in Ladysmith on Vancouver Island, there's a lot of uh, rough, uh, large, loose rocks in the gravel that makes it uh, quite slippery. And this is really where the fat bike shines. It uh, has no problem uh, with traction and has got lots of control. The an incline like this is actually quite steep, and this is also where the motor really helps. It makes it a lot of fun. On a regular bike, I'd often lose some uh, traction here, uh, and spinning out, but uh, with a fat bike, it really isn't a problem at all. On these uh, loose rocks here, you kind of try to pick your way through them. With a fat bike, it's really not a problem getting great traction. I'm going to fast forward this section here, but you can see I'm essentially on a really long climb, and this is where the benefits of an e-bike become evident. Sure, I could ride this trail with my regular bike, but it would take a lot longer, and I often wouldn't have time to come up here. With an e-bike, even if I just have a bit of time on a lunch break or after work, I can still have a fun ride and cover a lot of ground. Sometimes a long and steep climb will make me think twice, but with the motor it helps me go further, faster, and still have a great time. I'm still getting exercise as this is a pedal assist bike. I have to pedal, but it helps me out. Now it's been fairly dry in the spring here in uh, Ladysmith. Yeah, this trail off can get quite wet in the winter. I really appreciate it having the fat tires because it's uh, often very, very wet in this trail. With my uh, other e-bike, which has uh, two niner wheels, I find that when it gets fairly muddy, it's pretty easy for me to start fishtailing on the rear even through just small patches of mud. And I've never had that problem with this bike. It just heads right through like a train, really. Here you can see it's more of this pretty rough terrain. It's really not a problem on this bike. It handles really well. My other bike, I usually, if I come up here, trying to pick a line, I'm not hitting those huge boulders, but uh, with the bore, I'm really not worried about that. And we'll fast forward down the hill. 
It's amazing on an e-bike you often don't realize how much elevation you've gained until you turn around and start going down and realize, wow, you've come up a long way, but it really wasn't that hard. All right, we're coming up to a steep descent with uh, lots of loose gravel, big rocks, big chunky rocks. So we'll give a test to see how we do coming down the hill. going to get into a little bit of a rougher part of the trail and uh, you really can get your speed up on this bike. The nice thing about having the hydraulic disc brakes is it's uh, pretty easy to come to a stop if you need to. I also like the fact that the bore has a torque sensor so it basically knows how hard I'm pedaling. It's almost like it's reading my mind and so when I get to a difficult cult section of the trail I'm not worried that if I pedal a little bit that the motor is all of a sudden going to give me this extra power that I don't need. Whereas uh, bikes with a magnet on the crank, for example, basically it's just an on-off. And so as soon as you turn your crank, it gives you that power. And a lot of times you don't need that. You don't want to turn the level of assist off entirely because you may come to a quick incline that you need some assistance on. So that's where a torque sensor is really helpful. It's, it senses exactly how much power you want and delivers that. We're coming up to some very deep, loose gravel here, and it's hard to tell from the video, but it's actually very soft, and on a regular bike, it's tough. You have to keep your momentum and try not to turn, otherwise you're going to lose control. On the fat bike with these tires, it really isn't a problem. You can uh, do pretty much anything you want and not have to worry about losing control. You could do this on a regular bike. have to do a river crossing in another video. But I'm coming up now to a very steep set of stairs and uh, the bore actually has a really handy feature called walk mode. So if you press and hold the down arrow on the keypad, it uh, moves the motor along at about five or six kilometers an hour. So basically walking speed. So you can see on these really steep stairs here, this is helping me out just uh, taking the hill bypass. I'm not quite at the uh, point where I can ride this yet. It's quite steep and a little bit tricky, but having that walk mode really helps, just uh, helps me guide the bike right up the hill. It's hard in the videos to get an idea of how steep things are, even sometimes you can't tell if I'm going up or downhill, but if you look back down the uh, stairs, the bottom of the trail where I just came up, you can see here that it's actually a fairly steep section, so that would be a pretty tricky ride.
coming up to a wetter section of the trail here, and uh, I'm wishing that I put my fenders on. Surface 604 actually makes some custom aluminum fenders really nice, gives you full coverage, so if you're riding through muck like this, you're not going to get dirty. Again, no problem with the traction. This is one of the things I love about the fat bike, is it just plows on through, no problem. Okay, I'm now on the south side of the uh, Holland Creek Trail, which is uh, quite a bit rougher. There's a lot more uh, roots and rocks and twists and turns here, and uh, it's more the type of a trail that you'd want a uh, full suspension for, but uh, the fat bike actually works pretty well on here. With the fat tires, you actually get a tire almost the same size as a 2.9er. So when you're going over boardwalks like that with a few missing planks, it's not a problem. Just roll right over. Again, it's hard to tell in the video here, but we've got a pretty steep uh, incline coming up here with some tight corners and lots of roots, and you want to have a fair bit of confidence that you're going to make it. When we get to the top, if you, if you look to your left, you can kind of get an idea as we climb here of uh, how much elevation we've gained. came down from the bottom there, and uh, the bike performs really well. Again, that torque sensor is just super handy because I can back off the power as I need to, or increase it simply by pedaling harder or lighter just like you normally would. It's just completely natural to ride and a lot of fun, especially on these uh, downhill sections.